Victorious Angels. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Today's video, I'll be sharing with you all how to lighten and brighten the butt. In between the cheeks, I got a message on Instagram, someone asking me, how do you lighten that naturally? So I'm like, hey, let's make a video about it. So here we go. It is coming up next, so y'all just stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's just hop right into what's causing you to be dark back there in between the cheeks in the first place. And the first and most common reason is friction. And this can be from hairs in between your cheeks. Even if you don't know you have hair back there, you might want to check that out because oftentimes hair grows back there and that causes friction and then that causes dark spots. So make sure you are getting that area waxed. If you're some type of special contortionist who can shave back there, I myself personally, I like to use at-home laser hair removal. That way it's gone permanently and I don't have to worry about hairs growing back there. But keep that area clean because it does cause friction. Another thing that causes friction is the underwear that you're wearing. Make sure you're not wearing boy shorts or you're avoiding uh, special occasion underwear. I pulled some underwear just so you guys can see. So like this is what I would consider a special occasion underwear, something that looks like this. But do you see all of this here? That between your cheeks is gonna cause a lot of friction, especially if you got some butt. I got me a whole lot of butt back there, so it's a whole lot of movement. And this between my cheeks all day long is just gonna cause friction and it's gonna cause me to have some dark areas back there. So avoid those, avoid these, except for special occasions. They're pretty, but it's for special occasions. But I like as G-strings. Now, I like things that are silky in texture, so that it's smooth and that you can barely feel it and that way it won't cause any friction. Now I got these underwear from Victoria's Secret and they're super, super cute and it's like you're wearing nothing. So I would aim for something like a G-string and this is really, really soft guys. This is a very silky material. And I would say that the thickest that I would go is something like this this band here, that would be the thickest I would go because anything thicker than that is gonna cause lots of friction. It's gonna, if it hurts, if it burns, don't wear them. Another thing, ladies, you wanna pay attention to, if you are a bodysuit lover like myself, I love a good bodysuit. Most of my closet is bodysuits. Is making sure that that band too is not too thick because that can also cause friction. And other things that can cause friction or cause it to just be dark back there is just simple things like just having brown skin. We're more prone to hyperpigmentation or a big butt, like I said. If, you, if you're larger back there, we got a lot of stuff jiggling back there, you know? So it it may cause some extra friction and then lead to some darker areas. So let's get right into how we can solve this problem so we can have all our pretty parts pretty and everything nice and bright down there. Now this is gonna be a very simple and easy fix, guys. Now, just a tip. Whenever you are trying to tackle something like this and you are going to look at a product, flip that product around, look at the ingredients label and you'll see the active ingredients. Now, for example, if you look online right now for like some type of brightening product, like Silka, for example, Silka soap will pull up, which is a papaya soap. The only active ingredient in it that's actually brightening the skin is papaya. That bar of soap is $30 per bar. The rest of the ingredients are preservatives. So all you really need is a papaya for three bucks at Whole Foods. Now, if you flip that label around and you see like five active ingredients that actually work towards what you're, what you're targeting, then yes, purchase that. <laughs> like for instance, my papaya scrub, every single ingredient is geared towards brightening the bikini area every single last ingredients with no preservative. But for this particular issue, since the, the skin on the inside of between your cheeks is very sensitive, I would not suggest a, an abrasive exfoliant, but you do need to brighten, exfoliate, soothe, and moisturize. So the first thing that I will suggest is just getting some plain papaya. <laughs> 
You can get it from anywhere. I would get it organic just because you know it's going in your intimate area. So get something organic, you don't want pesticides or things like that in your area, you don't. So get an organic papaya and you take that and I'll show you guys how to make it. Let me just show you guys how to make it, come on. What we're gonna use first is papaya because papaya is the number one brightening agent. Next, we're going to exfoliate. Now, to exfoliate, we're gonna need AHA glycolic acid. And guess what's high in AHA? Papaya. So we're going to use this and just put this in a juicer and juice it. The reason we need to exfoliate with AHA is because it's going to help slough off dead skin cells so we can see our new skin beneath. So it's gonna lift the dead skin cells. The next thing we're gonna use is lemon. The lemon is very high in vitamin C, which helps brighten the skin, and it's also high in limonene. So we're gonna also add this to our mixture, and what I like to use is just a hand juicer, but any juicer that you have will work perfectly fine. And we're just gonna add this as a brightening agent. Now that we've added the lemon, we're gonna go in with organic, organic <laughs> aloe. Aloe is amazing for soothing. And that area in between our cheeks is very, very tender. So we wanna soothe it after we go in with these very strong ingredients. So we're gonna add this to a blender cup and just blend this together very well. Next, I'm just gonna pour it so you guys can see how the consistency looks, but it glides very easily on. So I'm just gonna show you here on my arm. You just take it with your fingertips, and don't be scared. <laughs> and you just rub it in very gently. And you wanna leave this on your skin between your cheeks for about five minutes in the shower with the water off, and then rinse it back off. Now I put mine here in this cover dish because I can just put it in the refrigerator and store it for later. And you can leave this in the refrigerator for up to two weeks and it'll be just fine for use. I hope you guys found that simple enough. Another thing that I wanted to add is moisturizing. I like to moisturize with just plain, raw, virgin coconut oil. The reason I like coconut oil is because it is antimicrobial and it fights bacteria and just taking it and just sliding it along in between the cheeks and it won't harm you if it gets down into your, you know, your JJ area because, you know, it's antibacterial. I wouldn't suggest using any other type of moisturizer or lotion um, that can cause irritation and that's a whole nother problem. That's a whole nother video. If you haven't saw my video on how to lighten the bikini area, I will link that below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is a underscore beauty underscore beast and i'll see you guys in the next video bye